MySQL data visualization using Pandas and Matplotlib modules. In this lesson we will learn how to read MySQL table data into Pandas data frame and how to plot these data using Matplotlib library. For this purpose, we will use the CWC23 database and the team underscore points table of this database. The various fields of the table team underscore points are shown on the screen. The available records are as follows. These are the points earned by various teams of the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup 2023 in the league stage, that is, before semi-finals and final stage. In this lesson our objective is to plot the points earned by various teams by reading these records into Panda's data frame and plotting the data frame using Matplotlib module. So, let's begin coding. Let's first import the required modules that will be used in this program. The following dictionary will be used for supplying the arguments to the MySQL connector constructor for establishing MySQL server connection. Now let's connect to the MySQL server using MySQL connector. We are using the try, except, else blocks for handing exceptions, if any. Try to create a connection object, con. If any exception is raised during establishing the connection, execute the accept block. If no exception occurs, execute the codes of the else block. Let's create a database cursor object. Now let's execute a SQL statement using the execute method of the cursor. Now let's fetch all the rows from the cursor. Let's display the contents of the rows object. As we can see, it's a list of tuples. Let's display the tuples in new lines using a for loop. And here is the output, it looks better now.
we may create a pandas data frame directly from the rows object. Let's display the contents of the data frame, df. And here is the output. Observe that, the data frame has no column header. Let's modify the SQL statement for displaying only the team underscore ID and points fields. Let's add column headers for the data frame, df. Now our required data is in the data frame, df. Let's plot these data using matplotlib. And here is our first bare minimum plot. We will revise this plot one by one. Now we will use the pandas read underscore SQL function for executing SQL statements and preparing pandas data frame. Although the data frame is OK, it throws a warning message that Pandas supports only SQL Alchemy connectables. For the time being just ignore this warning, we will use SQL Alchemy later. Now let's plot the data from the data frame, df. And here is the initial version of the plot. We may change the plot type such as bar, step, stem, etc. as per our requirements. We may change the line color, line width, marker size, etc. by supplying additional arguments to the plot function. Ilum sets the tick limits of the y-axis. We may also add the title, x-axis label, y-axis label, etc. We're done, close the cursor as well as the connection. Here is our modified plot with X label, Y label, title, and grid lines. So, we can see how easily we can fetch data from MySQL database, manipulate these data and plot these data as per our requirements. Only the basic data is supplied by the database server, the remaining jobs will be handled by various Python modules such as Pandas, Matplotlib, etc. Isn't it interesting? For real-life applications we need to fetch data from various sources and one of very important sources is a database, it could be MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, SQLite, etc.
Now let's replace the plot function with step, stem, bar, etc. and generate other types of plots. An error occurred as we haven't removed few arguments that are not allowed for stem chart. Let's correct this. And here is our beautiful stem chart. Isn't it? I like this chart for its simplicity and visual appeal. So, this is all for today's lesson. We will learn more about generating charts by fetching data from a database. Thank you very much for watching up to the end. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe the channel for more such useful lessons. Bye.